Hey everyone, I'm so glad you're joining me. Thank you for coming along. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If this is not, well then I'm glad you're here again. Either way, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps a lot. And if you're already subscribed, consider hitting that like button. So what we have today is part two of a Cocoist haul. Um, over Labor Day, they had a 20% off sale. And I placed this big order for um, a few Cocoist colors, but a lot of Nail Thoughts colors. And then within a couple hours, I regretted not buying more. <laughs> so I put in a second order. The second order came two days ago. Um, this order came today and I don't quite understand why, because they were placed the same day and Cocoist shipped them out the same day. But this is just when they arrived. So this is what it looks like inside. I'm going to move this to the side so that we can swatch. Currently on my nails is colors I got in that other haul. I already recorded and should have posted by now. Um, so it's two coats of blackberry quartz and one coat of smoky quartz over it. So that's what made this purpley color. I like this color, but I felt like on my skin... <laughs> It kind of looked like my, my cuticles were a little bloody, so I wanted to darken it up a little bit. But, okay, let's jump right in with what we have. We have this cute Nail Thoughts box, and then just these. Okay, so let's start with these. These are from Coco West, uh, their main line. Okay, I got another one of their matte top coats. I really love their diamond gloss top coat. Their matte is actually very, very nice too. Um, I feel like there might be a better matte out there. Can you let me know below what your favorite matte top coat is? This is good. It's good, but I feel like there's something better out there. Um, their top regular high shine top coat is hands down the best, but... Anyways, we got these four colors. Well, we got more than four colors, but the other colors are from their Nail Thoughts line, which comes in a bottle, and these are potted gels. So let's see, let's see what we got today. So we have Arabian Gold, Army Tank, Vintage Metal Silver, and then Rosso Red. So... Hmm. I'm going to do this one first, this one second, third, fourth, because I'm going in reverse uh, numerical order. Um, I have to swatch with a brush, like my own separate paint brush. And so we're going to have to like clean the swatch, the, the brush to do the swatches and yada, yada, yada. So I want to make sure that um, it doesn't really like contaminate the next color. So I want to do some uh, the lighter colors to darker colors. I'm just trying to decide which brush I want to use. I have a few options. I think what I want to use is my sheer brush. Here we are. So I love using Cocoist's brushes. Cocoist is just a lovely manufacturer of so many things, um, nail things, but their brushes is one of my favorite. Um, they're just very, very nice. Doo, doo, doo. Okay. And I also am going to need to do these swatches at the same time. Because I like to put them on the little pots. Um, but since I'm already dirtying a brush with the color, might as well do two swatches at the same time for the colors. So let's get all that out. And I need my tweezers. Okay. So... Rosa Red Glass is part of their Venetian Glass series. I have a few of the colors in that series that I really love. Uh, it's a it's a sheer series. It's their it's their version of jelly or syrup, but they call it glass. Um, and it's just so nice. It's so so nice. The last two colors in the series I don't have. I'm probably going to get in the summertime because they're very summer colors. And since we're in fall season. I didn't want to get a fall. I, I wanted to get the fall color and not the summer colors. Come on. 
And so I thought this would be good to do like some sort of like blood nails maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the color comes out. Oh no. I wanted to keep that all in one because I like to use the color that's on there for part of my swatching. So, oh, come on, work with me here. Okay, so this one was not my most elegant one. But let's go for it. Ooh, what a beautiful glass red. I'm already enamored with this glass red. It's going to need two coats. I mean, they, they're never going to build up to be opaque. That's the point of these colors. But um, I'm still going to do two coats to give it like the real depth of red it's going to become. But that's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Cocoa Whisk, these pots are teeny tiny, but you really don't need a lot with Cocoa Whisk. Like... A little bit goes such a long way. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's just a great product. Um, it's just very high quality of a product. Okay. And the other thing I love about Coco West is that it really only needs a 20 second cure in their lamp. Um, I want to get this metal off because it will annoy me if it's on there. Usually I can get these off in a much easier pool, but I'm Sally struggles right now. Okay, let's do the second coat. And it self-levels so beautifully, too. It's just awesome. I love their colors because I can just as easily paint a full cover nail as I can paint with these polishes. They're just very pigmented and super lovely to work with. Look at that color red. That's a beautiful red. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful jelly red. That's lovely for the Halloween season. Okay. Let me scrape that off. Okay. Get one of these little stickies out. Okay. We're going to top coat this quickly. This top coat is running low. This is just a very, very inexpensive top coat I got from Amazon that I use for swatching. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I'm going to pop this off. And put it right there. Okay, so now I am going to woo, take a lint-free wipe and then just clean off the brush as best I can for now. It'll go through a deeper clean at the end, but for now, that's good. Okay, so this is army green. You know you want to work with me. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, there it is. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at you. I am a 
excited for you. This reminds me of a green I have from Daily Charm. I think it's called Spruce. I was hoping this would be a little bit darker. But with it in front of me, the color Army Green is perfect for the, the color it is. It, it exactly looks like those little green plastic guys kids used to play with back in, when I was a kid. See how lovely Cocoa Wist applies? Like that's one coat. It self-leveled so nicely. It's just such a great brand. Cure that for 20 seconds. The little sticker tab. There's such a highly pigmented polish that like you really want to do thin layers so the colors can truly cure. But this is a great green for the fall. I did not need to do a second coat. It was fully opaque with one. <laughs> but I always do two coats so might as well. And their pots have this little ledge so you can scrape all of the polish off because you want to keep every little bit because I mean these little jars are only four grams so you want to try to make them last for as long as you can. Let's top coat this. on here oh, that is a beautiful green okay vintage metal silver I kind of want to get the vintage metal denim color too I don't know why I didn't get it um but this is supposed to be like their ooh, their liquid metal you know how like liquid metal is so in right now? I think this is their version of it, but they would, this is a early release color. Like this color came out years ago with them. So I think Cocoas might've been ahead of the curve with that liquid metal vibe. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I kind of want to use this as a, to see how this does just and line work, but wow. That's great. I need to let it self level for a second because you can see my stripey stripes right there. Let's see if self leveling it will resolve that. It's not a big deal if it doesn't. But let's. I need to try using this with a liner brush. I have to. Let me get out another swatch. Let me get out my liner brush. 
This is my new liner brush from Cocoist. I haven't really done a ton of playing with it, so this will be fun. Load it up. Just want to make sure it's well loaded. Okay. I want to do maybe a swirly. Huh. It could also just be how much product I had on there, but it didn't come on very thick. Oh yeah, you can see it. It's just that the white glare kind of hides it a little. That's lovely. It helps that this is a great brush. Yeah, that looks lovely. Yeah, I'm happy with that as a silver metal brush kind of color. Okay, let's do second coat. Probably don't need it. Look at how opaque that already is. But since I do everything with two coats, I'm going to do it. Yeah, this is beautiful. I am loving that as a silver color. I bet if I put the red glass over that, it would look amazing. That Venetian glass. That's so pretty. Okay, and now there's just silver sparkles all over my brush hairs. Hence why I <laughs> am double swatching all at once. But I'll show you how I deep clean after I do this next one. Okay. I mean, I don't need to talk about this, but I'm gonna. Why not? It doesn't hurt. my tweezers <laughs> they're probably in my face and I don't see them here they are they're hiding okay when I move on to do the nail thoughts products I'm not going to double swatch I'm only going to do one swatch. I can do these little tabbies off camera on my own time. I just want to do them for the pots because 
If I was already mucking up a brush, I might as well do the two swatches at once. Okay, so Arabian Gold. Let's see here. Come on. This one's wanting to lift. It's wanting to cooperate. Oh, yes. I love when it does it all in one. Oh, so satisfying. Okay. I was hoping this would be the gold version of the liquid metal. It might be. It might be. Let's see what happens here. Because the vintage gold had kind of like a, a tint to it because it's supposed to be vintage. So it had like a greenish patina in it. So I didn't go with the vintage gold because I wanted it to be more liquid gold, more traditional gold color. Which this is kind of giving. I think this is definitely going to need a second coat. No, it doesn't. That was just the angle of the light. Look at how lovely that is. Oh yeah. I'm going to totally want to do this one with the liner too. Okay. Load this up with gold. It's not as opaque as the silver, but it's still very nice. Now let's just color that in so we can see that current trending uh, nail art design with the metal, liquid metal look. Of course you would have typically some sort of color on the back of it. And I would want this to swirl better. Okay. It's pretty. It's not as wowing as the um, silver is, but it's still lovely. It's a very like light gold. It's not a super bright yellow gold. In the jar it looks like it will be, but it's not when you use it. It's it's a very light 
gold. It's pretty. It's very, actually very nice. Um, very delicate. Uh, so let's do this little tabby thing. I'm not going to do a second liner coat so I can clean this off. So I want to scrape all the polish I can off of it. I see when I dry the brush out, like you can see where it, it splays a little bit and it makes me wonder if I'm going to eventually chop any of these hairs off. But for now I'm going to keep it as is and play with it for a while before I start mending it. But for now, that is just a beautiful top coat. I mean, beautiful gold. It is opaque. It's just the way the color hits it makes it almost look sheer and for a split second, but it's not. It's not at all. Okay. Oh wait, nope, gotta scrape this pup off. Okay, all right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how I clean slash condition my brushes. So this is the Cocoist brush cleaning gel. I just need a little bit of it. It's a clear gel that um, doesn't cure in a UV light and so gel cleans gel so all I gotta do is swirl this brush in there and it'll clean out so what I'm gonna do is do that a couple times to make sure it's really cleaned out nicely but then it I don't have to do it a couple times I think once is enough but then just kind of pull off the excess so that that can just sit like that in my draw. There's actually a little thingy on this. So let me do this again. But yeah, ta-da! That's how it's going to store. Okay. And now this one's going to need a little bit of a deeper clean. So I'm going to wipe more excess off onto the stencil bib but then you just kind of you clean it <laughs> i don't know how else to describe it you just kind of mush it in there because gel will remove gel and so you even see that there's some of the red still deeply in there from when i did the first color and so we're going to want to do this pretty thoroughly here because this one had glitter in it and I should not have used my sheer brush with glitters. My sheer brush is meant for glass colors only so I really tainted this brush when I should not have. So I'm actually gonna do this again. If you don't have like a gel cleaning gel like this specific thing I have from Cocoist that's fine you could just use top coat any clear gel will do this for you and I just want to see all the sparkles come out all of the glitter come out and I don't think I'm gonna get it all out I want to get as much out as I can when my brushes get a lot of build up like oh there's a lot of glitter on this one <laughs> Um, and I need to do a deep clean. I bought the Meets Milo cleaning solution and I love it. Um, so I will be using that to do deeper cleans with my brushes.
Okay, that's pretty well clean, pretty well conditioned, and then it will just go and live in my draw like this. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera until I need it again. And then it'll be ready to go because this is how I pulled it out today. So it's just ready now. Ta-da! And it stays that kind of conditioned and moisturized look. Okay, so let's put these to the side. And let's jump into the nail thoughts line. Okay, and this one's gonna go a bit faster because I don't need to double swatch. Um, also, here are the four Cocoas colors um, cured with the top coat. They're beautiful. All of them are beautiful. Ugh, I love all of them. They're lovely. Okay. Nail thoughts. So Cocoa is partnered with Katie Masters, who's uh, really big on like Instagram and YouTube and so forth to come out with this bottled line. And I think it's really smart that they partnered with her because she's awesome uh first of all i love her videos she's so quirky i have one two i bought 11 colors plus her glossy top coat i'll talk about this in a minute um she's so quirky she's so much fun to watch on social media but also what i love about katie is that she engages with her viewers so today she put on youtube yes and yesterday too she yesterday she put on youtube like I'm getting ready to do another drop of new colors. What do you guys want in the next batch? Cause she's done several drops now. Um, and in the past, there were two different times when I told her, like I commented on like, I want this color. And then lo and behold, she made that color and it was in the next drop. So yesterday when she said it, I said, we need another nude. Uh, last time she did this, I commented saying we needed uh, nudes and because she didn't have any nudes in the bottle and the only nudes that I had from Cocoist were all in pots and I wanted bottled nudes um and so she made two so yesterday I said we want one that's I need one that's more tan and so we'll see if she gives me one that's more tan um and then I also asked for chartreuse because chartreuse is my favorite color so all of my swatches are pre- written out I'm just going to organize these but then again today she comp she posted saying I'm doing more builder in a bottle she has the best builder in a bottle um my favorite builder in a bottle ever is her clear build builder in a bottle it's like my ride or die color my, my ride or die product like if I was only allowed one product for the rest of my life it would be her clear in a bottle um but she's coming out with new builders and she was like showed like the sample colors and she's like vote below on what colors you like and so like you can vote on what you want and then they'll produce it and it's great um this is her glassy non-white top coat i've never used it before it's supposed to be super thick it looks very thick like this is thicker than the mainline diamond shine and that's a thick top coat this is lovely this is um, very thick and it's recommended you use this to kind of encapsulate with as well. It's like you can encapsulate and top coat, but this is not a non-wipe top coat. You must wipe this. And part of why I wanted that is because I don't have any wipe top coats and I wanted one for when I'm doing like brush on chromes and things like that. So I wanted to get this. I, I'll report back later on how I like that, but we'll see. So the first color I got, I got some of her glitter colors. These are all gonna be fall toned colors. This one's called Night Owl. And it's very gunmetally. So I have Intergalactic, which is a black with some glitter in it, but this one, this black is sheerer. The Intergalactic is a very opaque black with a little glitter. This Night Owl has a sheer quality to it and a lot more glitter. And has like a gunmetal kind of quality to it. Let me 
Interesting. Okay, so... Hmm. Is it me? Is this user problems? It's, um... I'm finding it not the easiest glitter to work with. It moves a lot. I'm going to give it a minute to self-level off to the side, and we'll see what happens in a minute. And maybe it just needs two coats. Let's see. This next one is called Cinnamon Sugar. Had this come two days ago, I bet this color would be on my nails. Look at that. <gasps> what a gorgeous orangey brown glitter. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. This one moves much nicer than the Night Owl. I can tell you that for sure. It reminds me of the tortoiseshell orange with tons of glitter packed in. <laughs> Super fine glitter packed in there. That's so pretty. Um, yeah, I can tell that like there's more product on the end than the top. I noticed this with the Mine Cave series too. I wonder if that's because the glitter moves the color polish around a bit okay so here's the night owl it self leveled a little not a ton i don't know i'm used to like my glitter i don't have a ton of glitter polishes actually but the ones i have are from tiny and they work very lovely okay so the next one is called twinkle lights Ooh. I'm not going to lie, the only reason why I bought this is because Katie Masters, also known as Nail Thoughts on YouTube, did a blog video of her at a nail expo. And they sold out of Twinkle Lights very fast. And I was like, what's it look like in person that it sold out that fast at the nail expo? Now I see it's very packed. It has a... These polishes have like a grainy quality to them because of the glitter. And I think that might be common with polishes with glitter? I don't know because I don't have a ton of them. Hmm. It's very shiny. That is very shiny. I feel like that's gonna be great for like holiday season. Okay. Let's do the next one, work from home. This is also a glitter. Oh, this is so pretty. It's such like a delicate pink glitter oh my god it's so girly it is so girly this is like just like oh so pretty and girly this isn't feeling as grainy but it's so delicate oh my god it's so delicate <laughs> i really like that that's nice okay honey bun is the last of these glitters i think what i'm gonna do so I'm also going to swatch the um, tiny color just to compare. Okay, so this is a little lighter of the orangey color. Not as orange as, uh, what is that? Cinnamon sugar. This feels like a little bit closer to a neutral. It's still very pretty though. Okay, so let me get out one more swatch and let me just grab da, 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 da. we'll do this one from coco west i mean from tiny this came in there beige lang lang collection Okay, this has no grit in it whatsoever and so much glitter. It applies evenly and I don't feel like it kind of clumps at certain spots. Um, not clumps, that's not the right word. It doesn't concentrate in certain spots the way the Nail Thoughts one did. So let's see what happens after two coats of everything. Okay, so... This is not, here's Night Owl. Let's see, with your second coat, Night Owl, do you redeem 
yourself. Some polishes just need their second coat so you can see their full glory and how they're meant to be. I think this might be one of those because this is a gorgeous gunmetal. And now you can't even tell that, well, a little bit, that there was like a lighter spot. That's lovely. It's a beautiful gunmetal. Okay. All right, let's close this because I make messes and spill everywhere. Okay, cinnamon sugar. Let's do coat number two of this. One coat wowed me, so let's see what happens when two coats are in effect. That is a load of glitter. Kind of the way like when you drink a pumpkin spice latte, you're like loaded with sugar. That's what this feels like. Like that like hit of sugar. That's that's exactly what this color and this amount of glitter feels like. Just like that hit. Ooh wee. You are shining. All right. Let's do Twinkle Twinkle next. Yeah, very shiny. Very shiny. Wow, it's like glaring how shiny it is. I don't know if the camera will do it justice. We shall see. Okay, work from home, the ultimate girly color. And I think it's so girly because the pink is just such a peachy pink. It, it just feels like a little girl. Um, and then these glitters are so delicate and fine. It's such a feminine color. It's like the most feminine color I think I've ever seen in my life. I feel like this color should have been called like pretty pretty princess because that's what it gives like like yeah these glitters like feel gold and pink and there's almost like a purpley in there they're just so pretty and fine okay honey bun I spilled a little on the side. I want to clean that. I don't want a chunky swatch. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this is the tiny one that I'm comparing it to for gel, for glitter gels. Okay, this one now feels gritty. When the second coat of all the um, nail tops one didn't feel gritty, this one does. Very interesting. It's almost like also, the tiny ones are so concentrated with all of their glitter that you should only do one coat of this. Um, whereas the Nail Thoughts one, you're, it's almost like you're supposed to do two coats with that. So let's top coat these glitter colors. And now 
after these cure, I'll rub my finger over it to see if they feel gritty through the top coat. Because it'll suck if I have to encapsulate these because it'll make the nail thick. Thicker than I would like for them to be. Because between doing two coats of the polish and then I'd have to encapsulate and then top coat. It's not that they'd be ridiculously thick, but like, look at how thin these nails are. They're so thin. <laughs> I like that. These remind me of like, I don't know. I feel like a, like a Taylor Swift piece of her wardrobe from her tour. Like I wasn't there, but like, I feel like it would need to be as glittery and shiny as that to show on a stage wild here is my pretty pretty princess work from home this I could see why it's called work from home because it is subtle I think that like if you had it on your nail it would be so subtle like on a zoom call you're not gonna see that um and it gives you that little pop of shiny glitter that probably gives you that little hit of dopamine but um it's just so utterly feminine I love it I think it would probably go beautifully with vintage tea which is another one of Katie Masters colors I'll look for that off camera I won't torture you guys while I dig through all of my swatches looking for that one okay So those are going to cure. While those cure, what I'm going to do, oh, sorry, I hit the camera again. I keep hitting it because it's plugged into the charger because <laughs> the battery was low. And I keep hitting the wire for the charger. So we have six more colors. These are not glitters. These are just very fall vibes or they were giving me very much fall vibes so we're going to swatch these six as well uh and see kind of how we like those but let's wait for these to come out of the oven first so i can see if they're they're gritty to touch they'll be in there for just one more minute and while that's happening i'm gonna close this up i'm gonna put this back on here all of my bottles typically have the swatch on top. Like I use that round thing I used for the, the pots, but you can't do that with tiny bottles. So for the tiny bottles, I just swatched right there. Okay, let's see. Ooh, not gritty. Not gritty. I'll show these at the end. Ah, oh, the twinkle twinkle's a little gritty. Not really though. I think it would be fine, especially if I use my Cocoist top coat that's thicker, because uh, this top coat that I'm using from Amazon is just really not the best. Yeah, they don't stick up at all. Neither does the tiny one. And in the end, I actually feel like tiny is a little thicker than the Nail Thoughts one. Let me see. Yeah, I think the tiny, when you use two coats of it, it's just a little too thick. You should only use one coat of the tiny, but the Nail Thoughts definitely use two coats of it. Oh, they're so pretty. Actually, I'm going to show you how just how pretty these are. Oh, these are just so pretty. Look at these. Oh my God. Look at these two next to each other. Like the... Night Owl and Cinnamon Sugar are just amazing for Halloween. Like, that would just be great. Like, to do all your nails, Night Owl, and then your ring finger. The Cinnamon Sugar, just for a little pop. So pretty. These are all just so pretty and shiny. Katie Masters, you outdid yourself. All right. Moving on. <laughs> Let's move these back a little. Okay. Thai Tea. Let's see you. Ooh, a very pretty burnt orange. 
kind of reminds me of, I want to say, a Jap um, Japanese orange from Coke West. That's the name of it. Japanese orange. Or maybe even smoky persimmon from Coco West. But this actually has a little bit more of a the burnt orangey vibe to it. This is more, much more of a fall vibe. That's beautiful. Oh, it applied so lovely. Self-leveled super fast. Probably only need one coat, but I, as always, will do two. Okay. The next one is called Dolce de Leche. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. That's that, like, mustard yellow, but this is deeper than mustard yellow. This is, like, just a little deeper. Beautiful, though. And it applies so nicely. I love the Nail Thoughts formula. It's, like, thin yet smooth and opaque. It is very nice to work with. I do love it. My, it's one of my favorite bottle lines. Um, that is very nice too for fall. That's a very cozy fall color, I feel. Okay, Dusk. I'm kind of excited for this one. Ooh, this is more lavender than I would have anticipated. I thought it was going to be more gray, but, I, but it's pretty. Oh my God, with the pink dental bib in the background, it's giving very much uh, Taylor Swift's uh, Lover album cover. I'm a little bit on a Taylor Swift kick right now, so don't mind me but that is a pretty color when you take it away from that pink it does have kind of a grayer quality so i think that pink background changes the feeling you get from that color actually very nice okay the next one is called after hours Ooh, this is a deep gray I love grays. I really do. It's a millennial thing, I think. Lovely. That's a great gray. I love that. Very fall very autumnal okay and then the next one's from, called once upon a time and it's this i want to call this like jungle green it's very uh bluey undertoned green It's nice. It has like, yeah, it definitely has like a blue vibe to it. And then Jellyfish Jam in Electric Grape Purple. Let's see. We need an Electric Grape Purple for Halloween. <gasps> oh yeah, this is a Halloween color for sure. I feel like these brushes are so short. I don't know why. I can't tell if like she changed her brushes, but like look at how short that is. I have to look at one of her holder jars. But that is definitely an electric grape. That'll be so fun at Halloween time. Let me pull out one of her old jars really quickly. 
This is Fresh Sheets from her original collection. Yeah, these brushes are so much shorter. Why? Why are these brushes shorter, Katie Masters? I won't be able to get as deep in there as I could with this. That's so bizarre. Why did you change the brushes? <laughs> the bottle seen the same. Is that like this for all of these? Is all these brushes so short? No, this one doesn't seem as short. So, okay, this might be, look at how short that brush is. What is going on? I wonder if that's because 62 and 63 come from volume four and maybe the volume four drop was a shorter brush. No, it's this color. Why does this color have such a dinky little brush? What is going on with this color that it has such a dinky little brush? What? I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I really don't know. I don't like it, but it's very bizarre that that has such a little brush. Cocoist, if you're watching, can you comment on what's going on with this brush? This is the tiniest, shortest brush. It makes no sense. Wow. Okay, moving on because I need to do the second co coat of these. <laughs> okay, so this is Thai Tea Ta uh, Second Coat. Beautiful. Okay, Dolce de Leche's second coat. Ah! Oh, I smushed it. Oh no. I messed, I made a boo boo. Hopefully, the second coat can cover it. <laughs> You won't notice, but like I smushed it. I don't know how I did that, but I didn't. Okay, let's see if that hides it well enough. Okay, dusk. Pretty, 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 pretty. After hours. Once upon a time. Pretty. This is a very pretty color. This is very nice. I feel like there's a little fleck of dust in there I want to get. Hmm. It's just moving around. Beautiful color. That is a very pretty color. That's very, very lovely. 
Okay, final coat of jellyfish with this ultra tiny brush. I am just not liking this brush. I've never seen this short of a brush from anywhere before. So I'm actually going to contact um, Cocoist and Nail Thoughts. Um, to see, but oh, that's a gorgeous color. <laughs> But that's a gorgeous color. So let's cure that for one minute. I'll put that to the side so that I can remember to contact nail thoughts. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me while we wait for that to cure. I bet this brush is not super tiny. No. Normal size. I don't understand why that jellyfish jam was such a short brush. Hmm. While all of this is curing, I think I can start top coating because this one got cured already in there a little bit. This is a classic fall color. Classic fall. Oh my gosh, what is this black fleck on my top comb? This bottle needs to be retired. It's time for the new bottle to come out. I have a back one. I went in back stock, but I just didn't feel like getting up. Yeah, this is uh, a really nice mustard yellow kind of color. Perfect for fall vibes. Definitely love this dusk color. I bet it would look so great with the work from home color. <laughs> look at how cute those are together. So nice. After hours, I love me a gray, especially like in the winter. Oh, a nice cozy gray. Once upon a time for that beautiful, do you remember the color jungle grain from Crayola? It's like my favorite color in that box. I loved it. That's what this reminds me of. And then more jellyfish jam. So pretty. Oh my God, look at it with the top coat. It's lovely. This is a great Halloween color. There was like a, a sheer neon green color too. I didn't get it because I was like, no, that's summery. I should have got it. Um, but let's let all of those cure while those are curing. We can move all this to the side for a moment. And begin to show all of these lovely colors that I got. Let's even move this. Look at these metals, pretty. That red I got. These are so lovely. These were great. These were a great, this was a great batch. And then here are the glitters I got. Oh my gosh, look at them with the white background. It's so pretty. It's so feminine. Um, again, I think these would be great together for Halloween. 
oh my god i can't get over how feminine that is it's just so feminine so pretty okay and now for these fall vibes that we got i love all of these colors they're all beautiful um they're all so so nice like i feel like they kind of go into like these little clubs uh these are such pretty jewel tones such gray undertones and then these burnt vibes so pretty so that was my haul if you want to know what happens when i contact coco with some nail thoughts about the teeny tiny jellyfish jam brush let me know comment below and i'll be sure to keep you posted thank you guys